I'm sorry, but this is not where you belong. Mm. Hey guys, welcome to my bonus Monday video. Opie welcomes you as well. While I wasn't posting on YouTube, there was this trend going around where everyone was buying these mystery boxes and opening them on camera. And I thought, oh, that looks like so much fun. I'm so sad that I missed it. Well, you know what? I'm doing it anyway. Most everyone got their boxes from eBay, but I actually got these from Etsy. The eBay boxes looked really sketchy. I think this one was $10 and this one was 15 or 20. <gasps> was this $20? So I'm gonna start with this box because it looks like the inferior box to me. Also, it's so light. Like what could possibly be in here? Tissues, lint, hair. I feel like the cardboard and tape alone should weigh more than this. There is a little made with love doily on here, which I appreciate, but I hope there's more in this box than just love. The mystery continues. Okay, <laughs> so the first thing I pull out is this pink bow. This is cute actually. These are themed boxes by the way. I didn't choose like a completely random mystery because I didn't want like totally irrelevant stuff. Um, so these are like cute themed. I think it'd be cute for like maybe a four year old or five year old, but like I'm seven. I don't think I will wear this, but I might use it as like decoration or something. Maybe I'll just wear it today. Ow. I actually did wear a bow in my hair recently, but it was a little bit more subdued than this. Let's move on. It's like a big flower. It's another barrette thing. A, again, I don't think I will be wearing this. I am going all out today. Oh my God. <laughs> I look like a flower girl at a really tacky wedding. I'm hoping there's something other than barrettes in here, although I'm not complaining. These are actually kind of nice. Oh, cute. Okay, I actually really like this. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> um, could be a bear, could be a bear. I don't think bears have tails like, oh. I actually think that this is really cute. This is the kind of thing that I was kind of expecting. So I'm happy with this. I wish that it came with like some sort of like, Oh, this is what this is so that I would know. Let's see, oh, it feels like there's a couple more things in here. Hmm, it's a little ring. This is actually really cute. I'm afraid it's not gonna fit though because I have really fat fingers, like really fat. Oh wait, it's adjustable. Ha, I'm in luck. It's a little coffee cup with whipped cream and chocolate. I like this. I am a fan of this little ring. Hmm, yeah, okay, I will take that. They did package everything really nicely, I will say. What does this say? Especially for you. Oh, You say that to everyone. <gasps> okay, I'm actually really excited about this. I'm not sure what it is yet, but cute. I actually really love this. It's a bracelet with little bows on it and little cupcakes. It looks really tiny. Let me see if it will fit. Okay, it definitely will fit with like plenty of room to spare. I need a helper right now. I love this and I think that is it. Oh, okay, there's one more thing. Okay, uh, it's a clip, a hair clip. It's got like a skull on it. I'm not really a huge fan of skulls, so I wouldn't say this is the winner for the box, but this is the first thing where I'm like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this because like, I don't even really like it. <laughs> to be honest, to be very honest. Ow, ow, okay, that's not nice. You jerk. <laughs> what is happening up there? This is gonna be a long recovery process for my hair. Okay. All in all, I would say this box was a success. Um, and it did come with six things, which is more than I was expecting considering, why does it feel heavier now that I know what's in here? <laughs> but we still have an entire box to go through. <sighs> I'm very excited for this one now because this is the one that I was really looking forward to because it's like a bigger box. This one actually has a little bit of weight to it. So always cut toward yourself, kids. 
I'm just kidding, that's really bad. <laughs> Do not cut toward yourself. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, aha, ha ha ha. So again, tissue paper. I see a cat, let's get into this. Woo, okay, so. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a jean bag with a large cat patch on it. <laughs> I actually really love this pom-pom. Can I take this off? <gasps> yes, success. It feels like a little cloud. I probably wouldn't like wear it out, but um, I'll probably put like craft supplies or something in this because it is cute. Um, let's see, whoa, there's lots of stuff in here. Okay, so a little heart plushy thing with a kind of frightening face on it. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't really consider this cute. It's kind of scary. I wish it was just plain because I think without the face it would actually be cuter. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a little purple glittery heart pin. I just made a hundred pins so obviously I need more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am really happy to get this. I will always be making more pins and adding to my collection so I do like this. Oh, this is cute. Wait, I really like this. It is a necklace. Definitely would not wear this. <laughs> it's a little adventurous for me. Apparently, I just don't wear anything cool. <laughs> it's like got a lollipop, a hamburger, and french fries. I'll hang this on something as decor, decoration, uh, clutter decoration. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Is this chocolate? I think it's like a bracelet and I think this is supposed to be like a chocolate bar that's kind of bitten or something. That's cute, I like that. You know, I love food stuff and candy and chocolate stuff, so I like this, this is cute. This will be another hanging thing. Oh, <laughs> look at this, this is funny. These are so cute though. Yeah, you know, it really does show off how weird my hairline is. I've got a weird hairline, deal with it. Wire headband. Another headband. How does this work? There's like a kink in it. <laughs> Wait, how do you, how are you supposed to? Oh my gosh, what if these people had lice? That's irrational. Is this like a two-person thing where you need a helper? You know what, I think I can just wear this Rambo style for now. Yo, what's up? It's, what does it say on it? Passion? And it's got lips on it? You know, I'm not a super fan of this item because I don't know how to use it, one. And two, I'm not really in love with this pattern, but that's fine. You know what, I'm gonna go back to my comfort zone, which is emojis. Yeah, that feels good. I'm kind of hoping there's something edible in here because I'm getting hungry. Okay, so it's these little bracelets. Those are cute. I mean, who doesn't like little plastic glittery things? Oh, yes. Ah! These I'm a fan of. Gummy bear earrings. Oh, I love gummy bears. Yes. Okay, yeah, I just put one on my pin board. I'm probably just gonna use these as pins because I probably won't put these in my ears, but I really love those. We're getting down to the bottom here. Okay, a glittery pencil. I think I actually have this pencil or something similar to it. The pencil grip is a little loose there. Okay, what is this? I'm interested in this. So it's like a keychain. I will definitely hang this on something. I love keychains, so yeah. I'm a fan of this. This is a winner. What else? Measuring tape. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of scary because it's it's eyeball that you're like stretching across the room. <laughs> I can actually like use this. I like this. This is the last thing. And it's a unicorn bag with a rainbow on it. This is pretty. And there's something in it. There's multiple things in here. Oh, it's like a scrunchie, but... <laughs> I have a lot of hair, so I don't think that this scrunchie 
is, yeah, it's not gonna go around my hair. Ah, oh, that's definitely not how you're supposed to wear it. I do like the pattern though, it's cute. I, I can probably, oh, maybe it's a bracelet. Aha, it's a lollipop. I don't know if it's like bad to eat this because I don't know exactly where it's coming from, but I really want to. Huh. Okay. There's this in there, which is, oh, I see. So it's like one of these little spinny things and you just spin it and then pour it out. And I'll definitely use this in some sort of craft in the future, I'm sure, so. And there's a lot of variety in here. There's not much in each little compartment. Um, so you get just a little tiny sprinkle, but still. And there's one final thing in here, which is a Hello Kitty patch. Cute. So overall, I think I had a pretty, pretty good experience with the mystery boxes. I feel like Etsy is probably the way to go if you're gonna buy a mystery box. Don't spend a lot of money on it because you're not gonna get your money's worth because these people do have to make a profit. Like, if they're not gonna make any money on it, then why are they gonna do it, you know? So, it's obviously, like, the sum worth of all this stuff is not what I paid for it. You pay extra for the mystery, so you have to keep that in mind when you buy these things, but honestly, I feel like the quality of items was better in the smaller box, but I got more out of the bigger box, so... They ended up being kind of equal in my mind, even though I definitely paid more for the bigger box. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you this Friday for a craft video. Bye.